Hello everybody. Um, I'm not going to have my camera turned on mainly because I've just gotten out of the shower <laughs> and uh, I'm all wet. Um, and so uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Kerbal Space Program. We are back at the um, Space Center uh, and we've got a few things we need to do. In the tracking station we have got, um, I think it's this one, we've got Jebediah Kerman still in orbit. And so uh, what we didn't do last time was bring him home. So, oops a daisy, uh, I think we're just gonna continue and do that. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying the Kerbal Space Program side of things. Uh, oh, it's very dark on, uh, on this side of the planet. We've been aiming to try and collect science with little Jebediah down in here, who's uh, stuck inside the, the cockpit. Whoops. That was an accident. Do you know what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can revert that. I accidentally pressed the space bar <laughs> and disconnected the uh, the capsule from, let, let's see if I can go back in time. <laughs> Amazing, already straight away, <laughs> we're destroying our spacecraft. I did save this earlier on. Um, so I, don't, I mean, I think it might be this one. I think. Let's hope. Let's load. <laughs> um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Wowzers. <clears throat> Alright, so we got all of our hiccups out of the way straight away in the first 10 minutes. We are, Jebediah is, in the science orbit that did not explode rocket, but Valentina has gone somewhere, potentially Fiji, Mark IV. That's the name of this rocket. Uh, and we're orbiting around the planet because last time we were here we managed to get up to a place where we were going so far around the planet that we can't fall towards it. So I think our aim was to get back uh, because we managed to, without pressing space by this time, we managed to get some information including um, from these little goo uh, containment units. And so in order to get back home we need to do the opposite of what we did to get up here. We got up here by burning all of our engine fuel to point into space and now we're going to turn around and point the other way so I'm, just, I'm going to spin the rocket around you can't see an awful lot of what's going on it's very dark I imagine but I'm now using the nav ball in the bottom to point in the direction away from where we came and then all I need to do is burn this engine a bit in fact I'm going to burn the engine a bit while looking at this blue line this orbit and you'll see as soon as I start turning it on the blue line is going to start moving and the periapsis, the lowest bit, is going to start going in towards the planet. I, I don't know. I mean, it's already... I don't know if I want to go and land in the middle of the sea. Ideally, I'd like to land somewhere... What are these places? Looks like there's some airfields elsewhere. Let's see if we can try and land on that airfield. Or at least close to it. Tell you what, I'm going to let um, the spaceship, the rocket go into around about here and then I'm going to burn again and try and slow us down again. Let's do that. So we're going to speed up time a little bit. Because I also want to land on the daytime side. As you can see it's so dark that uh, we don't want to miss anything. Gemini is having a great time. I nearly, let's not put him on the EVA now while we're plummeting back towards the planet. That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, and we're now back in the atmosphere. And I think I think it would be a good idea to keep us pointing away from the direction we're going in because we're going to want to keep slowing ourselves down. Now as you can see, oh maybe as you can't see yet, our speed is slowing down because we're starting to interact with the atmosphere and that's going to slow anything down. Um, as things like meteorites fly through the sky, they slow down and start burning up and I might, we saw that happen last time as well. We burned up and crashed back into Kerbin at quite a high speed. So, um, yeah, is there a reason why the game is so quiet? Should there be something happening? I don't want to press anything just in case. I don't want to blow anything up. Right, this is going a little slow. I'll, I'll speed us up a, a little, a tiny little bit, a little bit. Halfway there. Oh, I nearly pressed space bar again. Gosh, it is, it, it, it takes its time. You know, some, sometimes you just gotta sit, sit and look at the beautiful planet and wait for wait for yourself to come screaming and flaming through the atmosphere and to crash land into the ocean. 
I don't know if we're going to make it as far as this desert launch site. I think that might be a bit, have been a bit optimistic of us. But we can dream. We can dream. Something interesting um, is that, do you see this green line here? That represents places on the ground that were connected to, with like a signal. In the same way that your phone connects to like, um, like radio towers and stuff. Or cars were connecting to radio towers and uh, things like that. Um, these ships all have to be connected to somewhere on the planet and that's very easy to do when you're this close to it but when you're off on the other side of the solar system or the Kerbal system in this case oh the sun's rising how beautiful is that you do forget this game can be incredibly pretty um, when you're elsewhere in the solar system your signal's not going to reach all the way back to Ker Kerbin and so you've got to set up satellites and things I'd like to do that at some point in the future um, for now though let's just focus on getting Jebediah home <laughs> Now our speed hasn't slowed down, our height hasn't slowed down too much. Oh yeah, no actually that is dropping quite steadily that. In fact yeah, we're not going to get anywhere near the desert launch site because already our periapsis, the lowest part of our orbit, is uh, is beginning to drop in towards the planet much earlier and that was only going to continue to to shrink. So I imagine it's actually a strong chance. I wonder, there's a radio tower there, so there's a strong chance we might even try and land here. Let's try and do that. Let's slow ourselves down fully now. And, um... And look, you see? Now we're making, we're intersecting with the planet, and that blue line is hopefully going to show us where we're going to come. And, uh, I don't want to say crash down, but it's entirely likely. We've got lots of fuel left over, because we actually managed to properly plan getting into space this time. Um, and what I think is a good idea, because we don't want to try and land with all of this very flammable fuel, um, is to do what we accidentally did earlier and disconnect ourselves from all of this and let that fly away. I mean, I'm going to do that later because I'd like to be able to try and land somewhere, maybe looking at them, on one of these coasts in here where we can see the sea. That would have been nice. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking maybe somewhere like here on that on that orbit we'll disconnect from there and then turn on our parachutes and we'll land somewhere here as the uh, the rest of the rocket goes sailing off into the sea to cause some pollution uh oh we're heating up maybe now's a good time to do it we don't want to be caught on this when it blows up this is probably a terrible thing to be doing I don't know how you re-enter in onto the planet how we need to ask an astronaut how do we re-enter the earth without just exploding do we have to use heat shields i think we've got one built into the command pod but we don't have one built onto anything else and everything's looking to be getting very hot this is how everything went wrong last time i'm gonna do it i'm gonna release everything i'm gonna do it now so that's gonna fly away now it looks like we're going backwards and that that's going forward but actually we just slowed down a little bit and that's continuing to to go that way i wonder Okay, we can't switch switch the other one. We're going incredibly quickly. Um, maybe I'll. Maybe I, there's no way we're going to slow down now. I don't know what's happening. I don't. I created this maneuver now, but I don't want to use it anymore. Let's delete it. I'm kind of hoping we're going to land somewhere here. Ooh. Oh gosh, we're very zoomed out. Look, we're <laughs> looking at a screaming bullet flying through space. Yeah, let's land in here. That I'd be very pleased with that. We can start our own little holiday. This looks like the island, well, a series of islands for Papua New Guinea. We've got like the Birds Head Peninsula over here, and the majority of New Guinea over here. I wouldn't be surprised if they took some inspiration while they were designing that. We've got Chenderwasi Bay over here. Yeah, there's all sorts. Now, how are we doing? You're right down there, Jebediah. Can I make this any bigger? I'd like to be able to see his face a bit better. No, I guess not. I don't want to click anything dangerous. Oh, uh, we've slowed. Slow. We're now. What's our speed? Nine hundred and fifty meters per second. I don't think. I think we're going to splash into the sea. I think we're going to fall short of that. I'd like to keep going. <coughs> yeah. Do you see that blue line where we're going to touch the ground? Is coming closer and closer and closer to the uh, to the edge. We could get there. We could do. We're going to keep slowing down. 
I'm going to turn off the stability system and let us just kind of like orient our, let the thing kind of like fly by itself instead of us trying to control it. Yeah, we're going to splash into the sea. Well, at least when Jebedai gets out, he'll work out far to go to swim to the shore. In which case, I'm going to release, shall I release all these now? Can I do that here? Deploy the shoots. Oh, I've got to deploy them all. There we go. There's no way we can splash down too hard. We've got five parachutes, four small ones and one huge one attached to our uh, little command pod here. And then when we've landed, because we opened one of these goo containers to collect some science, we can open this one and see what interesting things we can learn. Oh, in fact, we've got a few things. We've got the pressure barometer doohickey, and we've got a thermometer attached in there. Did we collect, connect any, collect any science through these? I don't remember. Well, when we've landed again, we can retake the temperature and things and see see what happens. Because um, we need we need the science. I'm doing I'm doing quotations, but you can't see me. We need the science in order to unlock new things. And I'm thinking I'm gonna need to unlock some new things in order to go on a search for Valentina, whom we <laughs> lost in a and is now missing in action. Um, out near the island of Fiji. At least that's the island that we called it. All right, and we've opened all of our fantastic parachutes we're now traveling incredibly slowly only two meters 2.7 meters per second and we're gonna have to speed up time just in order to get gosh how even to say okay we're 780 meters above sea level and we're just gonna slowly tick down toward the planet um yeah so this is a little bit of what i enjoy in kerbal space program is you can take some moments to just kind of relax and reflect and uh, watch the sea come hurtling towards you at the speed of tectonic plates. Um, yeah, I'd like to go and find Valentina Ker uh, Ker Kerbal? What's his name? Kerman. Valentina Ker Kerman. Um, depending on wherever she's gotten to. But once <laughs> we've got to actually <laughs> land before we can get there. Do we even see our shadow? Yes, we need to wait for our shadow, which is there. Gosh, we're traveling at four times time four well four like times the speed of time, <laughs> and already we're still only creeping, creeping steadily downward. We definitely didn't need this many shoots. In fact, let's cut some of the some of the shoots. Let's go a little bit faster. Oops. Oh, actually no, we're nearly we're nearly there now. We're nearly we're nearly at the water. Well, at least we know next time we don't need so many. We need it just you know just a couple, two or three. And I've slowed time back to its normal time speed now, and we'll splash down ever so gently in the water. Jebediah is still delighted with himself. And... Splash! And Jebediah is fine. No problems at all. Look, so, so tiny and insignificant compared to the rest of the world. But significant, I imagine, to Jebediah. Let's open up this goo container. Observe the mystery goo, please. I wonder what the benefit... Well, we've got four science, that's useful, let's keep that. I wonder what the benefit of um, having a scientist on board does. I wonder, did you collect more science? Okay, so we took a temperature reading back there. Shall, shall we take... Oh, we, we don't want to overwrite those either. No, it's better to keep space knowledge. All right, so uh, that was it. That was the end of our last mission, accomplished. Um, let's go back to the tracking station and load that back in. And we will uh, recover Jebediah. Which means that we get, wow, we'll have 89 science men in this, 44 science men. This is great news. And Jebediah is ready for the next assignment. Marvellous. Um, let us leave the uh, tracking station again. And um, it's still night. Oh, it's a bit jittery. It's still night time. We, uh, we've got a few places where we've landed. Um, I'm thinking we should go into the science building and try and unlock some stuff. Aviation's a good idea because then we can build planes as well as rockets. I think we have to do that actually. Let's unlock that. Now everything else is going to cost us forty-five, <laughs> and we've only got forty-four point four science. So we're so close. Let's build. Let's build a plane. So we're, we've been working in the vehicle assembly building so far, making rockets. Let's go to the space plane hangar.
Right. So now we've got unlocked a new cockpit, a little plane cockpit over here, and uh, we can attach things like we've got a jet engine. Do we have fuel tanks? What's the difference between some of these? Is that that, that one. That one clips on, that's fine. What about this one then? Oh, that's tiny! What do we do with that? Let's put the, let's put the tiny one away. We want to keep some useful stuff. In fact, I'd say we could put another couple more of these on. Planes have these large fuselage, fu fuselages, don't they? What else have we got? Burp, burp. Oh, we've got wings and stuff now. How good! What if we attach this to the end? That's looking a bit silly, actually. How silly should we go? Um, swept wings, what do these do? <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna be a terrible idea. <laughs> Look at that! What do we do? This is gonna be some trial and error, folks. Um, Oh, th this could work. Uh, well, could it work? Who even knows? We need some. We need some tail fins. Let's put some tail fins there, and we'll have. This looks a bit like a plane. No one's allowed to complain. Uh, what, what button do I press to? No, we want that. We don't want that. So that now goes in the middle. That's a bit like a plane, isn't it? I think... Is it the centre of thrust? There's like... Oh, wow. Oh, we don't have any thrust. The centre of thrust needs to either be in front of or behind the centre of mass. But I don't know which that is. Uh, I've also just realised we're going to need an engine on the back of this. Oh, no. What do I do? Let's take that off. Let's put a proper end. We've got a... Oh no, I'm confused. We might have to use those tiny little fuselages. Yeah, we might have to. Oh dear. And have like... Uh, where is that? And use those. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Um, uh, It's trial and error, isn't it? Ooh, that's quite quite large engines. Oh dear. Let's build them on here because it's quite hard to build them while they're attached to the wings. It's quite hard to build them at all, to be honest. I do hope when Kerbal Space Program 2 comes around, oops, they'll make it a little bit easier to attach things in the vehicle assembly building because I, I don't find it wildly easy myself. Gee, gee, gee. There we go. And then we can put that, oops, a daisy, there, and then put engines on the back. Basic jet engine. We'll have two of them. We'll use that to fly. Put some ailerons on. Now, if you don't know what ailerons are, they're these little. Uh, <laughs> if I know what they are. <laughs> these little surfaces that you attach that move around and help you to kind of maneuver yourself in the air uh, in the air this could go so horribly wrong do you know that so wrong what if we attach these to the outside that doesn't look too bad yeah Oh, and now we've got the centre of thrust. Uh, there is a button. We can drag some of these around. Oh, does it need to be? There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, and then let's let's put our um, our tail back on. Tell you what, let's even let's take that off and we'll put the tail on like this. We can if it'll let us we're learning together kids this is look uh, such a ridiculous looking uh... should those be tilted upwards like that 
I don't know. It, I feel like there's something very complicated going on with these planes, but um, I have no idea what it implies. Why is that only going to one side or another? I want it to go right down the middle. Bleh, bleh. Like that. Do we have any... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we do have some landing gear, though. Attach it like that. That works. Oh, but they're kind of angled funny. You're all going to be very patient with me. As I learn how to do all of this. Should I have one up at the front? A couple at the front? Just one? Should these be further back? I don't know. Oops. Well, let's give it a name. Whatever it is, we're going to have to be making a lot of them. The Fiji Flyer. We've got to go and rescue Valentina, wherever she may be. We've got, now it's saying there's no thrust, but I'm fairly sure we've got thrust. Do we have a pilot? That's the question. I don't think we should send Jebediah. He's just come back from space. He needs to rest. I think we're going to send... I think let's send Bill. Maybe Bill wants to save Valentina. Let's just go. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. And awkward loading screen. <laughs> I thought it had frozen for a second. I was worried what had happened. Okay, well it's still dark, it's still night time, do we have, okay, so things do move when I press buttons, that's a that's a good sign, you can see I was, so that's your, what? everything seems like it should be working, should I have the brakes on? Brakes, and we've stopped, oh how useful is that, I don't have any lights or anything, Bill, you're just going to have to, well, We've turned on the engines and I'll just have to turn up the thrust. Bill, you're going to have to trust us. You know, I, d I don't know what's going on. Oh, shall we turn on the stability assist system? I always forget to do that. So we're speeding up. I don't know how fast this thing needs to be going before we take off. We're about to find out. We're going fast. This is going a lot better than I thought the first flight might, although we haven't taken off yet. But quite often when I'm building space planes in this thing, I'll crash them straight away. I'm just going to see. I'm not even going to try and lift off. I'm just going to see how fast we can go before it starts trying to lift off. Or maybe it will now. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. That's not a. That's not good. Ooh. Yeah, I spoke too soon about it going fairly well. Well, do you know what we do have? We had a piece of a landing strut left. Let's revert. I don't. I don't think it went too badly, but the tail did hit the ground as we were lifting off. So let's go back and. Uh, we're going to need to make a Mark II already. First one crashed on landing. What happened was we're sticking out too far at the back. That's the problem. So I suggest... Oops, not doing that. Let's put that back. I suggest we uh, attach the wheels back there. Oh, not so that they're sticking out the sides like that. That's a terrible idea. So that they may be sticking out like that. And then... They'll be touching the ground at the back and at the front. Let's do that. Nothing can go wrong. Let's launch. And awkward loading screen silences. We need elevator music for the loading screens, but I'm not clever enough with computers to know how to do that. Uh, so we'll just have to wing it, you know? All right, we're back. And we're just going to start. We're just going to go. This isn't a rocket, so we don't need to count up. We're just going forwards. Oh no. Oh dear. We've rolled over. You alright there, Bill? You okay? Let's let's try that again. Let's revert that. Oh dear, I think <laughs> as we were setting off I tried to test whether we could 
change the direction of the plane or not, but I realise you shouldn't do that when trying to take off in an aeroplane. Bad ideas, bad things happen. Let's go. <coughs> Turn on stability assist, like I didn't do a second ago. Don't press anything else until we're up to speed and we're trying to take off. That's what I need to learn. I've also just realised it's very, very difficult to try and... And it's happening again. Well... We were okay for a bit. I realise this is going to be quite difficult to uh, play around with. Let's go back to the space plane hangar. It didn't seem to want to flip over when I had the wheels on the wings, but... I think with the wheels no longer on the wings, it wants to roll over because there's a lot of weight out there. Could we solve that by putting wheels on the wings as well as on the back? Let's try. Let's try. What can go wrong? He said, having just watched a lot of things go wrong. So let's rotate that. I think that's great. I think we're done. Mark three. The third version of our plane. We're going to get there. We'll get there eventually. Now, another awkward silent loading screen later. And we'll be back on the tarmac. It's got to be night time. And I realise that's a very bad time to try searching for someone who's lost out to sea swimming around in the water. But, you know, we do what we must. I bet if Valentina is out there and she's not fallen to some horrendous demise of her own, She'd be very happy that we were searching for her at any time of night. It's always such a clear night sky. There's the moon up there. It's always such a clear night sky on Kerbin. No clouds or anything. It's not at all like the west of Ireland. Or England where I am at the moment. I say the west of Ireland because I've lived for a long time there. And I don't think I saw the sun in the 15 years I was there. Okay, well we're drifting a little bit. Ooh, but we're off the ground. That was close. And we're flying. And nothing, nothing bad happened. Yay, we did it. Well, we did it. We got off the ground. Um, this is good. What I do know is that when we were doing this before, we kind of crash landed somewhere over there in the direction I'm looking. And it was either Bill or Bob who was in uh, on the flight. And um, I'm hoping it was Bill, because Bill was who we who we suggested to, uh, to go here with them. But we um, let's turn ourselves that way. Ooh, did that quite sharp. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's somewhere in these waters that we should go looking. That, that's, that's my thinking. What does it look like from inside the air? This is quite nice. Look at this! They do make the cockpits really good. Isn't they? Can I press any of these buttons? I don't, I don't think I can click any of them. Very nice though. Bill's having a... Well, Bill's not crying, which is about as much as we can ask of him. Our fuel is not going down barely at all, which is great news. Because I guess it takes far less fuel to fly around in a plane than it does to <laughs> launch a rocket into outer space. We're going to try and land on that moon one day. Let's try and get a good, um, a good what's it called? A good screenshot. Oh, don't know. <laughs> that was the right button to press, but we pressed it. Aerodynamic forces overlay. <laughs> That's supposed to take the screenshot, but it also sent all those aerodynamic force icons popping up everywhere. Now, I'm looking out into the water. I can't see anybody calling for help yet, but I don't know if at this altitude we will see. Shall we, go, shall we drop down a little bit? But, 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 but. We are travelling very quickly. Maybe it should slow us down a little bit. That shouldn't also crash us into the water either. That wouldn't be very interesting. That wouldn't be very interesting at all. Ah, I've just realised that somebody's chatting in the in the chat. Now, if I click off the screen to type in the chat, because I don't know how to do any of this, um, I uh, lose the window that I'm clicking on. So, I can see you, Matty Matty 2020 <laughs> Thank you so much for joining the stream. Um, I am currently learning how to stream at the moment. I've only made a fistful of videos, but I'm playing Kerbal Space Program at the moment, program at the moment because I made I know how to... I know how to play this, and so it's better to learn how to stream and play a game I know how to play. Um, 
hopefully you've not gone already. But yeah, at the moment we uh, we crash landed a couple uh, in a previous video, uh, and uh, we lost Valentina Ker Kerman, and uh, so uh, I'm out here looking for her in case she's still out here. But I can also see some buildings over here. So, um, so I'm going to investigate these. So this is a runway. This is great. It means I can come back here. There's entire hangars and stuff. That's that's incredibly fun. This is the um, the most successful plane we've managed to build yet. I've I've managed to crash things so far. So uh, I'm, I don't I don't know how tight to pull off these turns without just kind of plummeting immediately out of the sky. So. Um, if you have just joined the stream, um, I'm learning how to build planes and not crash them immediately on the runway. I'm looking for Valentina, and um, I think my ultimate aim is to. Um, we decide to get on the moon. What is this on top of this? Uh, is that a rock? Well, it's not Valentina, unfortunately. There are a few rocks out here. I bet we could do some tricks in this plane, although I'm slightly nervous of, uh, of pulling them when we're so close to this mountain. Oh, that's a barrel roll. We managed to do a barrel roll! I think the trouble with uh, recording live streams is there can be these awfully long gaps of silence. When I've learned how to uh, do streams like this, I will um, <laughs> I'll, I'll learn then how to add in some music that isn't going to immediately get us copyright infringed. I don't want to go too much faster because last time we started speeding up so much that it started becoming fairly uncontrollable. Although I'm fairly pleased with how well this has flown, to be honest. We only had a few hiccups getting off the ground. I don't see Valentina on the side of this mountain either, which is a bit of a problem. It would be really nice if it was daytime. But uh, I, we can't fast forward now because we're in a plane that will explode. What's that? That's another rock. All right. We'll head to the next last couple of islands and then we'll, we might have to give up and look for Valentina some other day. Maybe we'll try and get another rocket into space. And stay in space. I wonder if, because in Kerbal Space Program 2, which hasn't come out yet, we're supposed to be able to travel to other stars, which we haven't been able to do in this uh, uh, in this game. So I wonder how many of the stars we can see here we might be able to eventually get to. It would be quite nice. It would be nice to find out. Oh, what's that? Uh oh, oh, I saw something. I did see something. I'm going to try and turn that around. There was something on the very top of that mountain up there that didn't look like one of the rocks that we saw. I don't want to. Well, I'm turning around now. Let's let's not stall the stall the plane. I'll try and slow down. I don't want to crash out there. That's the problem. There is something there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. Let's. All right. I wonder, is it possible to land on this thing? 
tell you what, I'm going to try and do a loop the loop. Here we go. It's happening now. Uh, this was a terrible idea. And we're going to crash. Oh, no. <laughs> Pull up. Pull up. All right, well, the loop the loop turned into kind of a bit of more of a pancake than anything else. Let's get some speed back and get to the top of that mountain. I definitely saw something. Oh, I'm going very slowly. This is such a bad idea. Why am I doing this? I can't. <laughs> this isn't how you fly a plane. <laughs> you don't just point in one direction and hope you get there. I'm going to crash into this mountain. Oh no. Ah. Bill survived. <gasps> Come on, off you get. Oh. Ow. 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 Well, Bill exploded. And part of the plane's down there. But, that's promising. Let's see if, uh... Oh, vessel destroyed. You cannot all save at this point. Well, everything blew up. There was something at the top of that mountain, though. I wonder if it's worth trying to get there still in this stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is There's something there. Just up there. But I don't think we can land a plane on this on this big horrendous rocky thing. Let us. I think we should build a little launcher and try and launch there. Or maybe we have to wait. We've got. To, I have a feeling if if that is indeed Valentina, she's gonna have to. Uh, I've just realised in the bottom corner there's the little wobbly body of uh, Bill Kerman. Let's revert back to this <laughs> to launch. We can't get land on there just yet I don't think I don't think we've got enough technology but we know that someone's there hmm I think it would be wise I think it would be wise for us to uh, wait until we have more more technology to unlock things to see if we can find out who's out there I think that would be the most sensible thing to do in the meantime then we managed to get something in space. Let's try and get something into space twice. We unlocked all the aeroplane parts. Well, actually, we could try and... Do you know what? I think we should try and build an aeroplane that might have a chance at landing on the uh, on the mountain. Even if it can't make it back off again. It's worth a try. I don't think we can afford to leave poor Valentina out there. She is still out there. Now, the trouble is, this flies, but it can't land. I have an idea. What have what succeeded for us in the past? Yeah, you said it absolutely correctly. Navigation lights? We should have used those. Um, I was thinking of parachutes. I'm going to attach just a ton of parachutes to this. And we'll just gently glide our way down to the, um, down to the, to the hill, to the hillside. I think we should put these big ones on. We don't need these tiny ones. How bad can it be? Now, one thing I haven't accounted for, in hindsight, is um, how we're going to get Valentina back. Because we've only got we only have space for one person on the plane. I don't know what these lights do. Where do I put these lights? Well, we've put some on the front. Let's put, put a couple on the back as well. I don't know what they do. Oh, we can change their colour. And they blink. Well, let's think about smart things later. This is definitely going to have to be version 4. We're going to have to look and th look through and see if there's anything we can do to carry her back. Can we 
bundle her into a cargo bay? We could bundle her into a cargo bay. What a ridiculous idea. In fact, it's so ridiculous, it just might work. Open. Do you think she'll be able to get in? Is there anything she can grab onto when she's in there? This is such a terrible idea. Shall we do some science while we're out there? No, that's also a terrible idea. I, th I think we've got to try it, you know? You think she'll be able to get in if we do that? I think it's got to happen. I think we're just going to do it. It's so ridiculous it might just work. Let's go. Oh, here's the wrong way. Who's out there? No, we don't want Jebediah. Oh, in fact, even Bill is still out there. Oh, what a palaver. Let's leave and clear the runway. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think we need to go to the tracking station and find... Now that is telling. It does say Valentina Kerbin. Kerman. Let's uh, recover that flight done so Valentina must be out there if she's still in the uh, the tracking center right let's go back to the space plane hangar and uh, load that thing back in let's go oh wait no control oh it's not manned we've not put anybody in it it's Bill in your pot Bill Hmm. <laughs> well, we had a f number of minor successes, and I think I think we can. Uh, I think we can do this. I think we can solve this. What I don't want to do is um, have to do this seven million times while we're on stream, and then for it to never work. Okay. Turn my cat on because I think that makes the controls more. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay, well now we're now speeding up. Okay, oh well, something blew up again. Oh dear. What did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't turn on this. I didn't turn on the safety crashing avoidance thing. Okay, look, we're learning. Awkward loading screens. I'm so used to playing by myself on computer games and never um, <laughs> never talking during loading screens. I usually just shut my brain off during a loading screen so I don't have to wait for it. I can just let time pass. They have turned on the SAS now. We're coming to save you, Valentina. We saw you in the tracking station, so you must still be out there. Not exploded. Our speed is about 80 meters per second. Oh, let's let's try and take off as gently as possible without crashing. There we go. Woo! Now, it was like one of the mountains all the way over there. So we've got a we'll point. We we don't need to. We can probably speed up time a little bit. And um, let's do that. Let's speed up time. Whoop. Everything becomes far more sensitive when you're dealing with time like this. We're not going to crash into anything. And I think we're going there. I think that's the aim. Alright, sh I shouldn't try and fly a plane at four times the speed of time. But hey, I do it so you don't have to. It's <laughs> it's so strange trying to do this. So, oh, maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's the one that was past it. Because that had, like, the airfield on it. And I knew we flew past one that definitely didn't have anybody on it. And maybe it's this tiny one over here. Because I thought that was one big one, but actually it might, it might just be the... Uh... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
I should be flying at four times the speed of time. I said that already, but... What are we going to do? Right, I'm going <laughs> to... Because we need to be more careful with our speed. I've set it back to normal time speed now. And I think I'm just going to try and slow down over the top of this hill and just casually try and... Um, pull all the parachutes in one go. I think if I press space that should happen. Because they're in that staging slot over there on the left hand side. Right, let's try slowing ourselves down now. Oh dear, we might still be going too fast. This is a terrible idea! I'm gonna do it now. Okay, well we've come to a stop. Should I turn off the engines? Oh dear, we're very front heavy. We're gonna hit the ground quite hard, aren't we? Ooh, please don't explode. Oh, we didn't explode. Uh, okay, well this is not good. We shouldn't be rolling backwards. I'm trying to turn the brakes on. Uh, uh. I don't wanna be rolling backwards. Go forwards. Oh dear, this is terrible. Have we stopped? <gasps> no, we're still... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There's no place where we're going to come to a stop. Okay, well we've got to try and crawl our way back up the hill. Oh well, we've stopped now. We're at full throttle. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, speed up. We're gonna... <laughs> this isn't how you fly a plate. We're crawling up a mountainside. Um, if we could just get to a place where the plane will, like, rest. And sit still. Without us sliding back down the mountain. This is something I didn't plan. I know that these... Oh, no, we're slowing down too much again. Faster! Keep going! Forwards! Yeah, that's right, keep being up. Um, this button here, the orange one up at the top, should turn our brakes on and stop us from rolling, but I guess they're not strictly designed for stopping an entire plane from rolling down an entire mountain in the middle of the ocean. They're designed for, you know, not, not blowing down the, the runway in a light breeze. We've still got plenty of fuel though, that's a bonus. Come on, stop. Stop! Don't, don't slide that way. Don't slide that way. Come to a stop. Come to a stop. No, stop! Oh, we're still doing it. Can I roll this way? No, this was bad. Oh, we were so close. There's definitely something going on over there. Turn around. Come on. I wonder if we can like perch the plane on like the top of that of the ridge. If we can manage to turn this thing around, we're not able to perch it on the top of the mountain. Come on, keep turning. We can do it. still sliding horrendously down this hill. Oh, oh that seemed to work. Turn the brakes back off. Forwards. Mush! Mush! I can see there's definitely something at the top of this hill. We're not going to get... We're rolling backwards again. And we're at full speed. Come on. We're moving. We're creeping so steadily. Maybe this is how they should have took time getting to the top of Mount Everest. Come on, 
don't stop. Keep going. I don't want to turn off the engine. We're standing still with the engines on full. Which means, I guess, that if we... Uh, no, we're rolling backwards again. Forward! How... Oh, that's interesting. We go forwards if I tilt the uh, tail fins in a particular direction. Well, this is a fascinating stream, isn't it? Slowly creeping up a hill in order to find something that may or may not be there. No, we're slowing down again. Don't do it. Do you know who that... I'm, I'm beginning to suspect that that is exactly who we're looking for. In fact, <laughs> I just saw her waving her arms. This is gonna go so wrong. Do you know what we might have to do? We might have to leave the engines turned on. No, nope, we don't want to roll again. Keep going. This looks like Valentina Kerman. And she's planted a flag, how sweet. Oh, this is bad. Oh no, stop, keep, stop, stop, stop. No, don't stop fully, keep going. Forward, don't stop. Turn around, go back this way. No, don't stop. Go forwards. Come on, spin around. Sit as happily as you can on top of the mountain. And stop. Well, I'm going to turn the engines off. How badly can it happen? Shut down the engines. And hatches are all obstructed. Can't exit. So that means we can't get Bill out to find her. Can we switch to Valentina? <gasps> we can. Hello, Valentina. And she's totally happy. She's been chilling out here on this mountain for ages. I wonder what the flag says. Can we see it? Can we read the plaque? The plaque on Valentina's... Pa Valentina's Peak, Fiji Island. I've spent many a blissful day here where I didn't have to listen to Jebediah's corny jokes. Well, it's a good thing we didn't send Jebediah after her. Let's see if we can bundle her onto the side of this plane without her falling down this horrendous precipice into the ocean because that was how we lost poor Bill the last time we tried this. I'm very glad to see Valentina again. She seems to be a good sport. <coughs> I am slightly worried about how we're going to get this plane back home. But um, at least we know she's here. Look, if we can't get home, we know that um, we know that at least we tried. But she seemed to be fairly happy. She was doing well for herself. Can we open this up? We can. Can you get in, Valentina? Get in the boot. Okay. Uh. Woo! Oh, she didn't like that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now stay there and close this. <gasps> Valentina is in the boot. Can we switch back? <gasps> nope, that's the flag. Yes, we can. Okay, let's turn the engines back on and see if we can get home. Activate engine. Activate engine. I realised we've never actually practised landing. We've only done what this strange kind of weird mountain climb is. Ugh. Come on. I can see the plane wiggling. It really wants to get off this mountain. Come on. I can see you trying. It's just shifting ever so slightly in the right direction. If we can get it to just tip over this edge. Yes! Do this! Do that! Go on! No, don't stop! Keep going! 
forwards. Mush. Go on. Go on. You're nearly there. Yes. 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 Now pull up. Now don't crash. Please don't crash into the sea. <gasps> and we're back. And hopefully Valentina's happy cramped in the back of the air. <laughs> in the back of the plane. Do you know what we're going to do? We're not going to go all the way back to the Kerbal Space Center. I think we're going to take her to the CG runway. That's, I just realised that little sweet bubble was still there. I do not even want to check on poor Valentina, who's, who's now bouncing around in the back of the plane. This is, we're halfway to a successful rescue. Just get home. That's all we need to do. They should um, make a movie about this. I think they will. I think Bill and Valentina deserve a, a big holiday after what they've uh, after what they've accomplished. Although I suppose Valentina might have considered her time on Fiji Island, on Valentina Peak, uh, she might have considered that a holiday. I'm assuming she called it Valentina Peak after herself. Otherwise, that would be a very big coincidence. It's still night time. We managed to do it all in one night. What are the chances we accidentally crash onto this mountain and then someone has to go and save both of us? What is that? Is it just me or can you see some feet sticking out the side of the plane? Oh dear, I really hope Valentina's okay in there. <laughs> right, I think the runway's on the other side of that island, so that's what we're going to do. I think I can see the buildings over that way. <sighs> now, provided we can land this thing without too many problems, I um, I foresee, although I speak with such optimism, I still want. I still foresee the fact that you know we can call this a mission, mission success. This, it can't possibly go wrong. We're at the end of this. We've only we've got a couple of minutes until I want to wrap up the stream as well. So if something goes wrong now, whatever will we do? Right, there's the runway. I've overshot it a little bit. I'm gonna have to turn back around. Oh, sorry, sorry, Valentina. Sorry. Sorry. I'm also being very loud. There's probably gonna be other people in the house. Oh, I've got to turn the engine. Um, uh, other people in the house who do not want to hear me shouting sorry Valentina. Alright, come on. This is very hard to... I'm used to using a flight stick and so... Oh no, we're going in very, very quickly. This is a terrible idea. Land! Oh, no! Okay, we only lost something small. Turn on the brakes. Oh, oh, oh dear. If only you could see my face right now. Well, there's some bits of this plane left. So what I am assuming is that Bill and Valentina are somewhere in the wreckage over there. And uh, it looks like we're going to need to... Um, we're going to need to put together another rescue mission to find Bill and Valentina. That seems like the plan. Hmm. Well, that sounds like the end of the stream. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to probably try and play something next. I'm just looking at what's going on down here. Hang on. I want to... There's a little piece of... A, let me see if I can zoom into that. There it is, down there in the corner. There's still a wheel rolling around. Maybe that'll still be rolling when we come back and find... Valentina and Bill in the uh, the plane wreckage. We'll come back and we'll find you. Um, in the meantime, 
have a fantastic weekend everybody and um, I will see you all next time